Hi everyone, welcome to my landscape photography channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Thomas and I'm a landscape photographer from Sweden. And today we have a really, really beautiful winter day. So I'm just gonna get my bag out of, of the car and I'm gonna go up to a mountain that's maybe 200 meters high and get a really nice view over some farmland. So I'm hoping for some really nice landscape photography shots today. So yeah, let's get going. It's not that far to walk, maybe a three, four hundred meters, but it's uphill all the way and luckily I'm in the best shape of my life. Ah, I'm panting like a, I don't know, a zebra being chased by a lion. Oh, okay, so this is the steepest part. So it's not that far to the top in the, in the watchtower. Oh. Okay, here we are. Finally at the watchtower. Oh, oh give me a second. Oh, I'm going to catch my breath. Oh. It's about two and a half hours before sunset, so I'm actually gonna have my, have my lunch here before I start shooting. Never shoot on an empty stomach. Sounds like something our grandfather would say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get some lunch. What a beautiful winter day. It's actually really cold as well. It's 17 degrees below zero. But I have worked my way up the hill here and I'm feeling like I'm in a sauna. But uh, in a few minutes I'm gonna get cold, I think. But let's start with lunch. And I see you up in the tower. get a really nice view from up this mountain and the light is so beautiful so I'm not gonna delay anymore I'm gonna start shooting right away I'm gonna get my Nikon Z7 and I think I'm gonna start with the 400 Nikon Z 400 millimeters f 4.5 and really zoom in on tight compositions in the distance and I've already seen some things that I want to shoot so let's get right into it even though it's 17 degrees Celsius cold, there's some interference in the in the air. Some it looks like heat waves, but <laughs> can it really be heat waves on a day like this? I don't know. Maybe the sun creates some heat waves even though it's this cold. So I'm expecting there will be some issues with sharpness when I take pictures far away. But hopefully will be sharp enough. Okay, let's start shooting. Oh, the light is absolutely amazing and I love how the light illuminates the, the birch trees with frost. Really beautiful. And I started out, out with 400 millimeters with a 1.4 teleconverter, but that was a little bit too tight. So I removed the converter and now I'm at 400 millimeters. And this is a high megapixel camera, the Z7. So if it gets too wide, I can always crop it in post-processing and I'm just spraying shots all over here so I'm gonna take at advantage of this really beautiful light so yeah when I find a nice shot I will put it up on screen for you
planned to stay here all the way to sunset, but now we're losing all the light and I had hoped for some really nice saturated colors at, at sunset. And the wind has picked up and it's really cold up here in this watchtower. So uh, I'm gonna go back to my car. Maybe I can find some, some nice shots on the way back to my car. face is almost completely frozen. I can't barely talk. <laughs> it got really cold up there in the watchtower. Oh, but it's much more comfortable down here. And I got so very beautiful light today. I'm really happy with this photo shoot and I hope you like the images. And if you like the content of this video please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps draw some attention to my channel. And I thought I would end this video with some night footage from my from my hometown, Söderham. It was some snow and it was actually some mist. It was really moody conditions. So I will end this video with those foot that footage. So yeah, take care and happy new year! This is the last video of 2022. So yeah, happy new year and I see you in the next video. Bye for now.